What's up YouTube? This is just a video update. Um, I guess kind of to show um, what I've done with my workbench. Uh, I, I built it last year, but I haven't had a lot of time to do any projects using my bench or even to my bench because I've just been busy. But uh, now that the holidays are over and I have a little more free time, uh, I've been trying to finish some things up that were on my to-do list. Uh, one is to add lighting, which you can see the uh, work surface is lit up. Actually, let me turn that up. There we go, max brightness. So now you can see that I got the workbench lighting done. I just, uh, the controller for everything, uh, like for the exhaust fans, for the instrument rack portion of my uh, workbench, that it's incorporated and it's working, so watch, I'll crank the fans and you'll hear them ramp up. If, there we go, sorry. They are pretty gnarly. I'll turn them back off so you can hear. Um, that's incorporated into it, so I'll have lighting and then um, basically heat extraction for my instrument rack. Um, once that's, once that's done, I have my DC load that I'm going to put in place of uh, my frequency counter because, let's be honest, that's one of those things that you don't use as often as something like a power supply or an oscilloscope. Um, so I'm going to replace it with my uh, DC load, and I'm going to probably put it in its place and then find somewhere else to put it. I just haven't gotten around to doing that, but that's next on my to-do list. I've just been... Uh, my time has been consumed by this project, which I'll do an update video for. I might have actually uploaded it before you're seeing this or after, I don't know. Um, another new thing with my workbench that I finally got around to that I've actually been needing to do for a year, I just haven't done it, as to uh, put down some ESD mat. So this is a 3M ESD mat, three layer, static, dissipative, and the bottom layer is conductive. Don't know what the middle layer is. Um, it's super heat resistant, and that's kind of one of the big reasons why I wanted it uh, the workbench surface, obviously, in my case, I built this workbench myself. It's M uh, MDF, and being wood, it soaks up oil, any liquids. I get rings from setting drinks down on it, uh, cuts, dings, I I burn marks. I mean, it's it's kind of annoying. So I got the this blue mat, and this stuff is super heat resistant, so it's really awesome. I've already dripped solder blobs onto it, and I just brushed right off and didn't even leave a mark. So, uh, another thing um, that's new besides um, the static mat um, on the far right there, uh, the big pan of ices, or the big pan of ice with the different heads, I've, I've always had that, but. Um, the little baby size pan of ice up in the front, not the very front, that's one of the attachments, but the second thing to the right, just on the edge of the uh, MDF, uh, that's the little pan of ice junior. My wife got me that for my birthday, which is today, and so that thing is going to be really handy. The pan of ice is just too big for some of the smaller projects that I've done, so I don't end up using it. What I end up using is one of those cr freaking crappy third hand things for soldering and I've still I've bought three different brands and I've not found one that I liked they've all sucked it's it's hard to get them to stay put where you where you know wherever you move them to stupid magnifying glass is heavy and it causes it to tip over and then they just suck uh, so the paint of ice junior is going to be freaking awesome and um, I've already used it actually uh, another new thing is this bad boy. It's not mounted yet. I just have it set up uh, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but it's a mag lamp by OC White. And um, I'm going to move the camera. Well, I'm holding the camera. I'm going to move the microphone forward and I'll actually uh, show you what it looks like uh, through the lens. Because if you've seen my videos, I just shoot it with my, with my iPhone. And uh, while it works okay, it's really shaky. And you don't get a very good close-up shot of... Uh, any of the hardware, but now with the mag lamp, you will be able to get some awesome shots for my future projects. So, uh, the only other thing I need to do is just uh, invest in a decent camera. But um, I, I guess I just need to start reading online and researching and finding out what camera would uh, suit me best. But for now, my phone's working fine. So, I'm going to move the uh, microphone forward and then we'll uh, take a look through the lamp. Okay, so this is uh, basically what it's going to look like to look through this uh, mag lamp. So it's probably really hard to tell through the lamp, but that's very crisp and sharp. 
But uh, if you can see from my hand, you can see how small that is and see how clear it is through there. But if I pull it out in front, you can see how small it is. There, sorry, I'm not doing so hot with the uh, camera work. But uh, that's going to be really, really, really handy. Uh, but it's, it's by OC White. Um, the awesome thing about it, um, well, other than the qual, I mean, just the quality is freaking awesome. You just have to see this thing in person. Uh, they hand make these uh, one unit at a time. It's not some huge mass produced thing. When you order it, they build it to order. Um, so there's the arm, and it is some sturdy hardware. You move it to a certain position, you let go. It doesn't even move hardly a millimeter. I mean, this thing stays put. Um, there's, I think there's some other demo videos on YouTube, and you can see they'll move it around, let go, and it stays put. And that's kind of the problem you have with uh, cheap, cheap mag lamps. You try to move it to the right position, and then the springs just send it flying. And uh, some of them might have tension adjustion, but they just suck. This one, you move it, and it stays put no matter where you move it. And it has a 43-inch reach. That is absurd. That's going to give me a lot of options for mounting it. So um, I could probably mount it over there by my big pan of ice and then pull it over to here and so when I'm not using it it's out of the way. Uh, I still have to do some measurements and figure out uh, where I can mount it best where it'll be nice and sturdy because I don't want it you know cracking or breaking the bench or I don't want it falling because these aren't cheap. Um, and it's got LEDs around it just like the uh, traditional ones with the uh, round CFL that goes around the perimeter to, to light it but you know because the lighting goes around it uh, you don't get shadows so this is definitely really freaking awesome. If you can fit it in your budget, uh, by all means, I highly recommend it. And I don't even have the freaking thing mounted yet. But just playing around with it, I can tell this thing is going to last me a long time. They have a really, really long warranty. I think it's five years on the electronics and ten years for the uh, frame. And uh, the, the majority of their customers are people who work in the industry of uh, assembling electronics, doing soldering and inspections. So uh, they know this will be used every single day at a workplace, on a, on a work day at least, and um, they still give it a 10 year warranty. So that shows you how tough this thing is. And it's got a three way articulating head. So uh, once I get the sucker mounted, I will be using it a ton because I've never had a mag lamp. And man, I know that I've been missing out because I just, <laughs> I took a look through it and j I could just immediately tell that, holy cow, my eyes are gonna be so happy that they're not gonna have to strain. So. Yep, can't wait to get uh, get some use out of that. And plus, if I do future videos and anyone's actually interested in any of this stuff, uh, it'll be nice that I can show you close-ups of things um, or you can actually see it up close and clear um, with good detail. Because all I've been able to do is just get my camera really close to uh, whatever I'm filming and then try to get it to focus, which is kind of a pain. And then, you know, as I'm trying to film it, my hand's casting a shadow as well as the camera, so this will be a lot better for that, so... Um, I think that's it for the update on what all I've done with my workbench, if anyone even cares. But, uh, uh, yep, that's it. Guess I'll see you next time.